Chip Kelly enters a big year for the UCLA Bruins in 2021, and with the talent that he has returning, there's reason to be excited for where this program is headed. It's just a matter of, is that a conference championship contender, or is this just an improved team? Either way, I think fans will take some progress, and with the talent they have returning, it's going to be an exciting year for the Bruins in 2021. At number 10, we have quarterback Ethan Garbers. The Washington transfer will be a good backup option for DTR. If DTR is uh, struggling or if he gets hurt, uh, I don't think the struggling will be an issue this year. But if he does get injured, it will be nice to have the former Washington transfer in waiting for uh, to take over for this offense. With the talent they have around at skill positions, it's uh, another quarterback that can step in and just be a distributor if needed. DTR is not that way, but for now, if Garbers needs to come in, he can be that distributor that the offense potentially needs. At number nine, we have linebacker Mitchell Agude, eight tackles for loss and two and a half sacks last year. This defense might not have to deal with an offense that's lightning fast like Kelly's teams were at Oregon, but this is an offense that I think is going to score at a faster pace than they may be accustomed to. So having players that can make plays, that can make impact plays, dynamic plays, and things that'll stop the opposing offense or get the ball back to their offense is going to be huge. At number eight, running back Zach Charbonnet, the Michigan transfer who used to be the starter at Michigan, comes to UCLA to give them a two-headed monster with he and Britton Brown, a guy who can be a wrecking ball at times when you need him to be. Uh, it'll be a good one-two punch for the Bruins. The Russian attack was obviously solid last year with Demetric Felton and Britton Brown, and now they have Charbonnet and Brown. And I think that's just going to be a dynamic duo that a lot of people will like watching. At number seven, safety Stephen Blaylock. Stefan Blaylock, excuse me. Honorable mention Pac-12 last year, 42 tackles, two interceptions. The secondary is solid, has lots of talent, even some depth too. They bring in a couple of guys in the transfer portal that are able to help out with that. Blaylock's another impact player that can make some plays, pick off some passes, uh, make some stops for this defense to get the ball back to the UCLA offense. Number six, running back Britton Brown, mentioned before, the Duke, former Duke transfer, had 543 yards and four touchdowns last year. When Felton wasn't in, Brown stepped in and obviously showed that he can be the guy, he can be the starter. As I said earlier, he and Charbonnet are going to be a great duo. I think they'll be one of the best duos in the Pac-12. At number five, wide receiver Kyle Phillips, honorable mention Pac-12 last year with 370 yards and two touchdowns. This is a guy who, he might not be the most talented player, he might not be the most explosive player, but if you need someone to make a play, Kyle Phillips is your guy. His ability to run great routes gets him open, and he's a reliable pass catcher who, like I said, if you need a, pay, a play made in, in clutch time, or at, really at any time, Kyle Phillips is going to be the guy. He's probably not going to be a guy that's going to break off a bunch of big big plays every, you know, every, now, he, every now and then he might, but he's not going to do it on a consistent basis, but he is reliable, and, and that's something that DTR is going to look for when he's trying to pass the ball or if he's in a tight spot. He knows that Kyle Phillips is going to be open. Number four, linebacker Caleb Johnson, another impact player for this UCLA defense. Honorable mention Pac-12 last year, 44 tackles, seven tackles for loss, five and a half sacks. This is a guy who has a lot of potential to move up, even to be a first-team all Pac-12 this year. Very, very uh, dynamic player at linebacker. The linebackers for the Bruins are going to be solid. They'll be impact players, uh, lead the front seven, if you will. And a guy who can live in the backfield when needed. That's something that they'll really need this year. Number three is DTR, Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Second team all Pac-12 this year. Here's the thing. DTR has a ton of potential in his game. There's a lot to like about where he's going. If he can work on some things in terms of ball placement, throwing on the run, uh, some decision making, even this is a guy who could be a have a monster season. When he's set, when he's uh, things are going really, really well. There's a lot to like about DTR's game. He, he's so exciting to watch. He's so 
dynamic. He's, he's an explosive athlete running the football as well. So if he's able to take a step in his development as a passer, watch out for this offense. Number two, offensive tackle Sean Ryan, just a monster at tackle and has been doing it for the last two years. Didn't get a ton of recognition last year. A guy who's going to be competing at the next level very soon, probably even after this season. And number one, tight end Greg Dolchich. Second team all Pac-12, averaged 19.9 yards per catch. Uh, a very explosive player for this UCLA Bruins passing attack. And, and this is the guy that's going to make the big plays. DTR is going to look for him probably just as much as he looks for Kyle Phillips. Chip Kelly's got a talented team, a team that can take a step, maybe even compete for a conference championship. Kind of an outlier there, maybe a long shot, but very talented team and a team that could be very exciting to watch in 2021.